morning everyone and welcome to my morning routine for 2017 this is the first one i've done all year so first off i wake up at around 10 to 8 every morning give or take a couple minutes because this is just whenever the dogs feel like it is time to annoy me and get me up to go whatever do whatever it is they want me to do so I will just play around with them for a little bit to kind of prolong getting out of bed because bed is so warm and happy then of course I venture onto my phone see what I've missed overnight and of course that means Facebook Instagram and all that good stuff you can follow me on Instagram too I guess I'm pretty interesting maybe I don't know you can follow me then I'm getting in the habit of becoming a morning shower -er, and yeah, this is just what I have been using at the moment. This is my Argan Oil Conditioner. I am obsessed with this. I'm not too fond of most shampoos, so I'm just using whatever I can find. And this one's by Palmolive and of course my Fanola No Yellow Shampoo thing and my Snow Fairy Bath Body Works shower gels and then this Snow Fairy like in shower moisturizer. So once I'm finished my shower, I will get dressed and I just wanted to show you this cute little trick I had for making one of those little knots on my shirt. But straight out of the shower, I literally have to moisturize every inch of my body. My skin is so dry at this time of year, so I have to slap on the moisturizer. Then I will take my hair out of the towel and just give it a rough kind of... <laughs> dry down I don't really know I just like to try to get as much of the moisture out as much as I can and then I will go through it with my tangle teaser to get everything out of course brushing from the bottom to the top so I can prevent any breakage then I go in with my Hask blow dry spray this actually helps it like dry a lot quicker um, but I'm almost out so I need to get some more it's really really sad so then I'm gonna move on to my makeup and let my hair dry while I do that so I can just prevent any you know further heat time I guess so this is just my everyday makeup routine which I will have up on my channel in a couple of weeks I did just do a drugstore version of that if you want to check it out it's pretty similar to this one so I'll have that in the links down below but I kind of just do the same thing every day just a bronzy looking look if I've tanned or not and just a winged eyeliner really that's all I do so once my makeup is all done, I can move it back on to my hair. So I just blow dry it, whatever is still wet and needs to be dried, obviously. And then once it's all dry, I go in with my JHD flat iron and just straighten out everything so it's not all fuzzy and huge. It is nice and straight and smooth. Then moving on to a breakfast time. I usually, well, I never used to be a big breakfast person and then I started just really embracing breakfast time because I only ever just used to have a coffee so now I actually eat food with my coffee so that is always good so I will just get my milk frothing and ready and then while I'm waiting for that to froth I just get out one of my little sachets and I will literally measure the milk for the sachets sachets because I don't want it to like overflow or like cook weirdly or whatever so I'll just pour the milk into that and pop it in the microwave for 90 seconds and this gives me peace of mind knowing it's not going to screw up because I measured the milk then I put my little caramelito capsule in from Nespresso and let my coffee free fall like it's just the best smell in the morning and it is just fantastic it's lovely and then of course go pick that nice frothed milk that we waited so long for then i just sprinkle some granola over my done oats yeah i got them out of the microwave so yeah now i'm sprinkling granola all over them and this is a cranberry and hazelnut something else granola and then i put frozen raspberries over the top of this and this is so refreshing in the morning it is like literally amazing Then I do what every other normal person does when they finish creating their masterpiece of a breakfast. I Snapchat it. And not just on Snapchat, on like the Instagram stories as well. So I will leave my Instagram name right there so you can check out my breakfast stories in the morning. But yeah, I will literally go through the process of taking a photo of this and making it look super cute when in reality, like, it didn't even take that long for me to make. But it looks good. And then I will put it on my Snapchat and then you can find my Snapchat handle right here. So follow me on Snapchat. 
I have a great Snapchat. Well, I think I do. So I will, yeah, I think this is a pretty normal process to go through in the morning. And then once I've done that being really weird, I just sit down with my breakfast. I love to just sit and eat my breakfast. I don't like to be distracted while I'm eating my breakfast, or like on my phone or anything like that, because then I feel like I'm not enjoying my meal. This sounds like really motivational and weird, but I promise it's not like, I just enjoy it. <laughs> then the very last step of my morning is to actually go out and do whatever I needed to do that day I'm pretty sure I was just running errands and then getting some lunch with people but yeah that is it for my morning routine I hope you enjoyed it and let me know if you want to see a night routine to follow up with this but yeah that is it for this video and I'll see you in my next one bye